did you have any problem, Atilio, in order to log in? Oli? No. No tuvieron problemas que aquí están pidiendo no. el link. Se lo voy a compartir de nuevo. Es el link. Hola, me escuchen. <ríe> sí, le escucho. Pero yo no tuve problemas. Vaya, le voy a compartir. Vaya, vaya. Le voy a compartir entonces. Sí, a... sí porque están pidiendo el enlace, dice. En una... okay. Es el mismo. No sé. Sí, el mismo es. Sí tengo problemas con la conexión, pero Ajá. no sí, con el enlace. Okay. Uh -huh. Sí, pero estaba pidiendo acá el enlace, Marian. Uh -huh. Pero dice que no deja entrar. Verifique por qué. Ah, Marian ya está acá. Ok, Marian, ¿cuál era el problema? Muy bien. Ay. Ok, in two minutes we're going to get a started class. Mm -hmm. Marian nos escucha. Hola, Marian. Sí, teacher, solo que estaba esperando hasta las ocho porque a las ocho en punto salgo de, de una reunión. Ah, no, sí, está bien. Lo que sucede es que como tenía problema para ingresar, pensé que también tenía problema con el audio, pero pues ya vemos que no, qué bueno. En dos minutos iniciamos, ¿ok? Let's wait for the other partners. Recuerden que la plataforma tiene que estar terminada hoy, la sección 2, ¿ok? Section for week number two. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Darío. Welcome, Josué. Welcome. Thank you. Nelson, Mernalicete, and also Atilio. All of you are really welcome. It is exactly the time to get started. And as I told you, today is the day uh, for you to complete the practice in the platform for week number two and also your midterm test. But let me congratulate you because some of you already have the 100% for the activities in, uh, in section two and also in the midterm test. I know. Atilio lost the connectivity again. He said that he was uh, having problems with the connectivity, okay? So here we're going to get started. Concepción Marina, welcome. Josué, welcome. Carla Sofia is Thanks, teacher. Uh, joining right now. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Okay, all of you are really welcome. And here we go. We're going to get started. Hi, teacher. Hi welcome, Marianne Scarlett. 
Okay, uh, Pablo Adalberto also, welcome. It is glad to have you here. And I am expecting Atilio to get back because he was here, almost one of the first ones, but he's having problems with his connectivity. Okay, and I'm going to start sharing my PPT while the others join. Here we go. We have a lot of practice to do today. And today is November 15th, 2022. Welcome class. Okay, from the beginning. Today is Tuesday, November 15th, 2022. And here we go, okay. Today is our class number 10. Activity number one for our agenda is greetings. Okay, uh, we have a, a feedback, objectives. Someone is going to help me reading. In the pre-task, give and receive instructions. In the preparation task, you're going to be giving and receiving instructions. And in the main task for the class is to give and receive instructions. I expect that we're going to cover pages 27 and 28 and the wrapping up of the class. Again, a reminder as every day for the activities, your homeworks. Today is the 15th. So as I was telling you at the beginning class, today is the limit at midnight, but I have to congratulate that some of you are already done with the 100% of the homeworks in section two, and also with the midterm test, 100%, okay? Again, the requirements with your full name, so it can be visible. Camera on, sounds off, okay? Microphone off and active participation in the main session room and in the breakout rooms, but you are very active always. Again, 220 minutes of classes, it is what is expected uh, for you to be here. The attendance will be taken twice, okay, approximately at 8.20 and approximately at 9.40. And you need to say present here, I am. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me in order to have a one-on-one -on -one session, okay? To clarify any doubt or to have a practice for reading and pronunciation, okay? Again, cameras on. Okay, microphone off unless you are required not to do so. Camera on, the chat's available via WhatsApp and via Zoom. The ask for help button is available when you are working in the breakout rooms and we demand from you respect above all, okay? And here we are, week number two, today is the 15th, so by midnight, okay, you need to have completed the five homeworks for section two and the midterm test. And here we go over the objectives. In the general objective we have, participants will develop competencies that will allow them to mark steps in progress and ask and answer questions to check that maintenance procedures are met in face-to-face -face and telephone conversations with others in work situations. Okay, I need a volunteer to read the specific objective. Who's going to help me reading the specific objective? Participants will be able to give and receive instructions. Thank you. Now that you have your microphone open, Ms. Celia Cristina, go over the class <laughs> objective. Okay, because the other probably are having the inner. And we are very empathic with them. Okay. <laughs> Please, Ms. Celia. A class objective by the end of the lesson, participants will be able to follow and give the instructions. Follow and, and give instructions. instructions. Okay, and give instructions. Great. So just as a reminder, because today is for practicing what we have been working with in the unit. 
you could say parking is not permitted here. You may not park here. You are not permitted to park here. Parking is not allowed here. If you remember, this is one of the structures that lately we have been working with, right? Not allowed to. And here, there are some examples that I presented to you in order to have a better understanding of the structure, be allowed to or not allowed to. Okay, and you were working also with the do's and don'ts in your companies, correct? And now here, we're going to go over and we're going to start working with our manual because I told you we have too many things to do today in the, in the manual, okay? So here we go. This is, what you were practicing yesterday, if you remember the conversation almost at the end between Sandra and Mr. Sea, and you were also answering these questions. Do you remember? Because you were sharing in the previous slide, I showed you about the do's and don'ts that you were completing those tables, but with your real situation at your companies. And later, we practice this conversation. Now class, I need two participants in order to practice this conversation. Only two volunteers, Miss Claudia, thank you, and Miss Celia. Okay, Celia, you begin, and Miss Claudia, you read Mr. Sea. Let's begin. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the products with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. It's is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He now the values of com of our company. So there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Sweet. Very well. Excellent. No, now we're going to have another part, another pair of participants. Mr. Pablo. Hello, Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Hello. Okay. You're going to read at the beginning. And let me see who else is over here. Mm, let me check. I'm going to choose someone else maybe. Ah, we have Miss Carla Sofia. She wants to participate. Excellent. Okay, here we go. So you're going to read uh, Miss Carla. You're going to read what the girl says, Sandra, and Mr. Sia is going to be interpreted by Mr. Abrego, Pablo Abrego. Okay, let's begin. One, two, three. Uh, good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the pressures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of the happening? Yes. He was counts smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew, he know the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Excellent, thank you. And here we have, good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures, procedures with the new employee, employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see, is it, is it, because it is a question. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. 
he knew the past tense of no new. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is not, it is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Yeah. And at the end, you were, you know, uh, discussing and giving an answer to these uh, questions in the breakout rooms, correct? And here we already uh, worked in these activities, right? So we move over here, reading. That is why I told you that we have too many things to do. So class, please, uh, at page 27, we have directions and instructions. In the reading, exercise number one, the instructions. Read the following article about giving instructions to staff. Check true or false for the items below. Don't assume they know what you mean. This is very interesting because sometimes, okay, the coordinators, supervisors, managers, or your boss give instructions to you in such a way that it is understandable for them, but not to you. So here, read the following article about giving instructions to staff. Check out true or false for the items, okay? Here we go. Number one, don't assume they know what you mean. No debemos asumir que ellos saben lo que nosotros queremos. That is why I always make a remark. Is it clear? Do you know what you have to do? Okay. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Whist. Most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on. They are not mind readers. No le lamento. Yes or no? Mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. Sabe lo que tú quieres decir. And this can be for anything from industry, acronyms, to who, to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Number two, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle, dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Whistled, you don't want to rumble on in your set of instructions. That would be a waste of your time and to be honest, they will switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to butter it up and would rather get a straight to be the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. Give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. Colleagues, if you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Four, give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add 
clarity to your instructions and help form a clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. When you read and discuss this four paragraphs, okay, you are going to determine according to the article, okay, if these statements over here are true or false. You have one, two, three, four, and five, yeah? And here the word whistle, while. We know this word whistle, while. Okay, you know it as while, okay? And now, let's see, I'm going to take the attendance right now. And then you move to the breakout rooms. Here we go. No. Atilio is not back. He was here, but he lost his connectivity. Okay, so here we go. Atilio is absent right now. Brandon? Atilio present. Ah, oh, you're here. Back. Excellent. Yes. Okay, great. Atilio, you're here. Brandon is not here yet. Claudia Maria? Present. Is here. Concepcion Marina? Present. Thank you, Miss. Darío Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Stephanie Carranza. Present. Okay, here. Josué. Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you, Josué. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel. Absent. Marina Scarlett. Marian. Present teacher. Eh, Marian. 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 Marina Yancy, I was mixing. Marina Yancy, Sandoval Bonilla. Brandon, where are you? Okay, Brandon, thank you for telling me via chat that you are here. And Miss Marina Yancy, Sandoval Portillo. It seems that she's here, but she didn't answer. Mirna Lisset. Present, present. Thank you so much. Nelly Lilibet. Present. Thank you, Miss Nelly. Nelson. Thank you, Nelson. Norma, Patricia, Miss Norma. Okay. Pablo is here. Pablo. Present. Thank you. Sandra. Sandra Leticia. Miss Sandra Leticia. Teacher. Okay, I see you here. Thank you for being here. You sound really sickness. Do you have it or not? It is not that one. No, no es. O oh, sí, sí es. Okay, Wendy. Miss Wendy. Okay, Wendy is not here at the moment. Carla Sofia. Present. I was about to say, but I didn't say it. Always here, but no, because last Friday you were absent. And Miss Celia Christine. Present. <laughs> okay. Almost always, almost always. And Mr. Um, Juan Antonio is here. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. Always here. Yeah. Very well. 
Okay, class, listen. You have to read the four paragraphs and later you determine if according to the information in the paragraphs, the statements are true or false. It is about, as I told you at the beginning, when you receive an order or an instruction. Many times the people who give the staff the instructions or the orders assume that they picture exactly the way that they want the things to be done. Se supone que cuando dan las instrucciones son tan claras que no hay donde perderse. But many times it is not so, yes? So that's why employees are not mind readers. Los empleados no leen la mente. Maybe you do the way that you understand it. So that is the article about, okay? So right now, here we go. Let's move to the breakout rooms. You read, analyze, discuss, and you provide your answer as a group. If the sentences are true or false, obviously regarding to the information. Let's verify. Okay, class, join your groups. At this moment, I'm sending you the invitation. Join your groups. Okay. Okay, Marina Jansi. Let me see. Okay, Marina Yancy, but even though you're going to be a listener, I need you to join the group so you can listen to the practice, okay? Eh, eh, Marina Yancy, si va a estar de listener, le pido de favor que se una al equipo que le corresponde para que escuche la práctica de los compañeros. Okay, thank you. And... Okay, Marina Yancy, I need you to go to your group so you listen the practice. And your group is number five, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. And he said, you are in unit one, Miss. <laughs> okay, here you are, Mar Mirna Lisset, Stephanie Carranza, Nelly Lilipet, and Sandra Leticia. Sandra is going to be a listener, okay? So we have okay. Stephanie, Nelly, and Mirna. Okay, okay. Nos puede eh, explicar okay. qué vamos a hacer, por favor. <laughs> Permítame. Van a leer los, los cuatro párrafos, ¿sí? Y en base a los cuatro párrafos y toda la información que está ahí, ustedes van a determinar si las oraciones, las cinco oraciones que están al final son falsas o verdaderas. Escribiendo F, si es falso, o T, si es true, si es verdadero, ¿ok? Por eso okay. tienen que leer en voz alta y analizar estos cuatro párrafos que están acá acerca de ok, dar instrucciones al staff, al equipo de trabajo, ok and that's it, bueno. ok gracias ok este but no like waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or with is a set of instruction which you don't know to 
number on your set of instruction that will be a waste was, was, was of your time and be and to be honest they quit they switch off after and while you don't you don't want to ensure that your instruction are clean specific and false false hey. Hi, teacher. Hi, hello. I'm trying to answer someone's message from this group. Did you read all the paragraphs? The four paragraphs. Ya leyeron los cuatro párrafos. Los memorizamos. Los no, mentira. <risa> 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 Nos vamos a tomar. Sí, no, no está tomando. bien. Yo sé, primero se va por lo más, eh, eh, bueno, complicado. Es que para uno, ¿verdad? Para el, ajá, <risa> para es como cuando uno se va directo al chambre. Ups, perdón. <risa> Cane. Ok. But remember that you have to read aloud in order to practice, ok? okay. Reading yes. and pronunciation. Ok, continue. But you have the answer. Okay. You are ready. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Hi. Ve que cortamos ansias. They are new to the role, or if they haven't carried out the task before, this will help to add clarity to your instructions and help form a clearer picture of what is what it is you mean and what and what. Okay. According to the article, it is fine to make a sub assumptions. False. False. ¿Quién lee la segunda? Uh, it, is it is important, important to go. <laughs> <laughs> it is important to go stretch to the point to be clear. True. People will get confused with the direction. Instructions. That will be a waste of your time, and to be honest, they will switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. concise. Personally, personally, I prefer not the butter it up, and would rather get the strain to be the point on the on what needs to be actioning and delivered rather than making the instruction to flowery which will only confuse give time friends do not confuse matter by not the beginning with your time frame and the build line what you consider consider as soon means be very different from your Cola, cole, colegas. Colleagues, colleagues. Al final es como una Z. Colleagues. Uh -huh. Colleagues. 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 Uh -huh. If you think song is the next couple of course, that your staff who you have in 
children considered it to be in a few, few days then this commun communication is going to have serious implication in any business or or project number four <laughs> give examples uh, whenever possible make sure you give examples this will be especially beneficial if they are new there I knew to the role, or if they haven't carried carry out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help to form a clear picture of what it is you mean and want. Y ahora contestamos. Eh, contestamos las preguntas. Yes, if they are true or false according to the information in here, okay? Okay. okay. It is important to go straight to the point to be clear. Uh, I creo que sí. <laughs> es importante según el artículo. La primera sería false y la segunda true. true. Sí. true. La tercera. Entendido. Ah, dice, ajá, para evitar malentendidos debería ser claro en... en... Como que, o sea, yo digo que es verdadero. Ajá. Ajá, porque arriba está, está diciendo que... Porque dice en el, terán, en el número 3, ¿verdad? De que no hay que confundir las cosas, como que con los plazos. Sí. Entonces es... Creo que, sí, sería false la primera. True, true, true. Este, y en la última Esta. dice it is fine if the employees make a mistake later we can show examples este, esa creo que es verdadero también give examples whenever possible make sure you give examples this will be especially beneficial If they are new to the role, or if they haven't carried out, carry out the task before, this will help to add clarity to you instruction and help form a clear picture of what it is you mean and want. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true to me. En el número dos pusimos true, true. ¿verdad? Sí. Pero yo estoy un tanto confusa. Ajá. Que, o sea, no se tiene que ir como directamente así, va, porque o se tiene que explicarle a lo que entiende. Que en el número dos, dos dice que es claro y específico, ¿verdad? Este. En number three, en number three. Give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific. No confunda eh, las cosas o los problemas al no ser específico. With your time frames and deadlines. Con los tiempos, ¿verdad? Y el límite para ejecutar las acciones. What you consider as soon, lo que usted considera como tan pronto, might be different from your colleagues. Puede ser una visión diferente de, para sus colegas. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, si para usted soon, rápido, significa las próximas horas, yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days, probablemente la concepción que tiene sus, su staff puede ser en los próximos días. ¿Sí? Uh, uh, then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business 
or project. Okay. Entonces, es importante ir directo al punto para ser claro. Yes. O tener un lenguaje como muy florido. Okay. So, so, is it true or false? True. Ok. Ah, ya. Ah, ya. So, did you finish giving your answers for the five questions? Yes. 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 Okay. Let's get back to the main session room then. Let's wait for the other partners to return, okay? Okay, class, here we go. I need four volunteers. <clears throat> Who is going to read paragraph number one? Volunteers to read only one paragraph. Okay, paragraph number one goes to... I want to read in the paragraph number two. Okay, uh, number two is Mr. Tony Elias. Okay. And the one is Celia, Cristina. Yeah, so one, Celia, Cristina, two, nice. yes, number and three. three, and number three. Okay, Carlos. Pablo, Pablo is number three, and number four. Yeah. Carla. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, let's clap to the volunteers, especially to me, Celia, because she's very brave reading number one. <laughs> My screen and you get started, okay, class? Here we go. Okay. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. The assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Which most people in your office or business will be into, into two and switch it on. They are not need readings. And imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume the received knows what you mean. And this can be for anything for inducing acronyms, acronyms to, who, to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain that delay, details. Number two, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle, dripping maple cider place, but not, but no one likes, but no one likes waffle in conversation, and especially not in an email or when. It is a set of instructions, which you don't want to rumble on in your set of instructions that will be able, will be a wish, that will be a wash of your time. And to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do want to ensure 
that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to borrow it up. I would rather get straight to be the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered, rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. Give time, friends. Don't don't confuse Maras by don't be specific with your time frames and the lines. What you consider as some might be a very different from your colleagues. If you think if you think some is the next couple of hours. Yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days. That this communication is going to have serious implication in any business project. Number four, give examples. Whenever, whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to be to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clay, clarity to your instruction and help form a clearer picture of what it is you mean in one. Thank you so much. And now here we go. According to this article, the four steps, okay? Number one, according to the article, it is fine to make assumptions. Is it true or false? False. 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 Okay, it is false. Now, number two, it is important to go straight to the point to be clear. True. 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 Yeah. Number three. People will get confused with the directions if we use, okay, microphone soft if you are so nice. True. Okay. So it is uh, true. Next one, to avoid misunderstandings, one should be very clear in time frames. True or false? True. True. That is true. And the last one, it is fine if the employees make a mistake. Later we can show examples. False. False. Because it should be the other way around, correct? Very well. It's very interesting this uh, article. And now here, it is your turn, okay? Extra grammar practice. Fill in the blanks using there is and there are, okay? In order to complete these questions. Okay, let's do it individually, please. And later we're going to double check here because it is extra grammar practice and we are here at page 28. Remember the order of the words, okay? Because for questions, we don't say there is. We write is there and for plural are there because all of them are questions.
finish class. Now already? Yes. yes, here we go, okay. In number one, any paper in the printer? The missing phrases? Hello, class? Is, is there is there any paper in the printer? What about number two? Any computers available? Are, are, there, are there? Are there? Very well. Are there any computers available? Number three. Enough personnel at your company. Is there? Is there? Is there? Very well. Is there enough personnel? Number four. Many conference rooms in your workplace. Are, are there? Are there? Plural. Are there? Uh, number five, much light in your workplace. Is there? Is there? Is there? Is, is there? Number six, many things to do every day. Are there? Are there? Are there? Are there? The last one, good places to have a break. Are there? Are there? Are there? Yes. Are there good places to have a break? Very well, congrats, excellent. That's it. And now here, you have to unscramble the words to create sentences. Let's, uh, you have uh, five. Let's go over number one as an example. Inform allowed our clubs to wear not to. So the first word according to you should be, Mm. Informal, you. informal clothes. So many okay. We are not informal clothes. Are you're not allowed? <laughs> okay, uh -huh. you were right. You are informal. not. Allowed, allowed to, informal for to wear informal for to wear informal clothes, but in some places you are allowed, but in this company, no. Okay, you are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Now you continue with number two, three, four, and five. Or if you have them already done, let's share. Thank you. 
Kind of, almost. Number two employees are not. Right. Only one left. Employees are not a lower. Two is most. I make the sentence by other way, by other way. I write smoke are not allowed to employees. No, because in that case, it should be smoking, smoking. 
-hmm. Smoking is not allowed to employees. Okay, but here is a smoke is the verb because we have two. Employees are not allowed to smoke. Or in your case, smoking is not allowed to employees, but we need the noun smoking, but this is a verb, okay? <clears throat> and, and people, do you have number three? Not yet. Okay, let's wait. Children is not allowed to bring it. Mm, what if we say probably, probably, okay, over here. It is not allowed bring in children. Mm. It is not allowed bringing children. No se permite traer niños. Okay, for number four. Yo tengo, we are not allowed to extend our lunch time. Correct. We are not extend our lunch time. Mm -hmm. Very well. We are not allowed to extend our lunch time. And the last one. Number five, um, people are not allowed to check in later. Okay, people are not allowed to check in later. And that's it. Thank you. Very well done. So you have, you are not allowed to wear informal clothes. People, employees are not allowed to smoke. It is not allowed bringing children. We are not allowed to extend our lunch time. People are not allowed to check in later. Okay. <clears throat> This happens in the in the hotels and also in the airlines when you travel. 
questions or comments about this? No? Okay, shall we move to the next activity? I have a question. Okay. In three, it yes. is not allowed, no le faltaría el to bring. In, in some cases, in some of the sentences, if you remember when we were studying this, you can use uh, bring, but this is a prizal verb, bringing. It should be, in my opinion, it is not allowed to bring in, but in some cases, uh, this verb can be used to bring in, yeah, if you remember. We subprime the, uh, the particle the too. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But yes. when is possible and when is not possible? Uh, I would say that it is according to the to the context of the sentence because in my case I would say it is not allowed to bring in, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or in this case it's we, we don't know if it is a mistake. Uh -huh, yeah. Or maybe it was a mistake in the book over here because in my opinion it should be allowed to bring in, yeah, children. Mm -hmm. Okay, but according to the word order that we have here, this is the correct word order. To make it perfect, mm -hmm. in my opinion, it should be that we need to add the particle two. But you might say, but two is not in there, teacher. Yeah, but in order to make it better, yes, we should add this. Okay, okay thank you for asking, that's interesting. Okay, now, if you don't have any other question, let's move to the next activity. And here, what are some common problems at a plant? Let's make a list. I don't know if you work in a plant. Does anybody here work in a plant? I don't, no, nobody. Okay, so let's analyze this conversation. Listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice with a partner. Ah, oh, we have Ramon and Dorian. Okay, here. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone recorded a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a, a look at it. You are right. You know, it doesn't, uh, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes. Complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to very, if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up, to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. So here, in, when Dorian says, yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify here. We need to, to vary if, no, this is a mistake. And then we're going to correct it saying, verify, to verify verify okay they didn't finish writing the word verify okay uh yes complex machines have a lot of components i need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what i understand if that is the case we need to speed things up i recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Now I need two participants, one boy and one girl. One is going to read what Ramon says and the other one what Dorian says. Thank you, Pablo. You begin and who's going to read Dorian? Ah, oh, oh, Celia, you turned off the, the, the camera. Okay, Tony, say the name of a classmate, a girl, in order to read Dorian, but don't say Celia because she did it before from the very beginning. Maybe Stephanie Carranza. Stephanie, 
Are you available? Miss Stephanie Carranza, are you available? One. Miss Stephanie Carranza, are you available? Two. Miss Stephanie Carranza, ah, she wrote something in the chat. Miss Stephanie Carranza. Three. Another, another woman, Nelly Libet. Nelly, are you available? Hola. Voy manejando ahorita. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask Marina Yancy, tal vez. Marina Yancy, are you available? Three to three. Well, I know. Concepcion Marina, my. Yeah, she, yeah, she's available. Okay, okay. everything is ready. <coughs> Finally, you we found a, a partner for Pablo to read the conversation. Okay, here we go. Let's begin. Let's see, right here. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No. Okay. Mm. Oh, the problem. Someone reported a foul on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing of to verify it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. <clears throat> and what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shoot. Okay, thank you so much. Now we need two more participants. One boy and one girl. No, that cannot be possible. Let me see. Atilio is available. And Atilio, you choose your partner, a girl who practice the conversation. Atilio, your microphone. Ay, Atilio, you're frozen. Oh my God. Okay, Atilio, are you ready to read? Darío Antonio, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Darío, okay, you are here and you are available to read what Ramon says. And let's go over here. <laughs> ya, ya, soy disponible. Okay, Nelly, you're going to be um, Darío's partner. You're going to read Dorian and Darío is going to read um, Ramon. Here we go. Let's get started. Okay. Darío, okay. you begin reading. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know. It does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal metal case enough to bury if it is a minor fault or what. Verify, verify it is a minor fault or what. 
I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend and check the brushes once uh, a fortnight to make sure they're, they're not down. And what happened if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Very well. Okay, thank you so much. Now, class, you are going to be practicing this conversation in the breakout rooms, and you are going to switch roles, okay? Notice the phrases or sentences that are in bolts. I'll, I'll have a look. I'll have a look at it. It makes a strange noise. I need to. A minor fault. Here, verify, remember. Uh, speed things up and once a fortnight, okay? Once a fortnight, cada 15 días o cada dos semanas, okay? Today is 15. People received their uh, once a fortnight payment today, yes? Hoy es día 15. People received uh, once a fortnight payment. Recibieron su pago de dos semanas, okay? So questions about this? No questions. Okay, so you're going to read the same as your partners did and you switch roles. That is the only variant. So you're going to read the conversation twice. And here, you're going to complete the questions about the conversation, then write the answers. Only two questions, okay? Are the instructions clear? Hello, class. Are the instructions clear? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. Read the conversation and answer the questions. Great. <laughs> now we have more people available. Excellent. Please practice reading and speaking in the breakout rooms. Okay. Don't be shy. I expect that all of you are going to join the groups. Right now, I am opening all the rooms. I sent you the invitation, so join your groups and begin with the practice and lay switch roles and answer the questions. Atilio, Atilio was with Celia, Cristina, and Nelson, correct? In group number two. Atilio, I sent you the invitation. Nelson, join your group, please. Group number two is waiting for you, Nelson and Atilio. Brandon and Celia are waiting for you, Atilio and Nelson. And Claudia Maria, what happened to you? Claudia, your partners are waiting for you. Claudia Maria Guerrero, your classmates are waiting for you. Marina Jansi, join your group. Claudia Maria Guerrero, go to your group. And Marina Jansi, please. Empieza o empiezo yo. Sir, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Show me report. Reported a uh, fault on one on your machine. I I am have have a lot. I did it. You are right. And now it does not work properly. And this make a strong noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need to make sure they are not. And, and what happens if they are? We will have to extend to shut. Switch, no? Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Some report a fault on one of your machine. I will have Fortnight is uh, 
One a fortnight is uh, una vez a la quincena, una vez cada quince días. Cada quince días, fortnight. Uh, the, first, the first fortnight payment has been done in El Salvador. The second oh, okay. fortnight payment will be paid uh, at the end of the month, la segunda quincena. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fortnight quincena. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. Fortnight. Okay. I'm going to switch the conversation. Thank you Good for time. coming there. Okay. Hoy inicia Claudia. Y si quiere, usted dice una, yo digo la otra para. Uh -huh. Voy a iniciar. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Send one report of fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Pablo. Hola. Usted sigue con Doria. Ok, ok, permita. Ah, ya, yeah, permita. No problem. Son, son one report a fall on No, la, la, one... seg la segunda. ¿Cuál? Es que yo veré a Ramón y Dorian una vez eh, Marina y otra vez yo. Eh, eh, perdón, usted. Uh -huh. mm, hoy sí ya me perdí, no les entendí. Eh, <risa> yo empecé con una Ramón. Vez... Ajá. Y yo voy a ser Ramón esta vez y Dorian se lo van a ir alternando ustedes para que los tres participen. Ah, perdón. Ajá. Perdón, uh -huh. perdón. Y usted va en el segundo, sí. Dorian. Ah, perdón, sí, que estaba leyendo las la preguntas. Sí, sí. Yes, complete machine have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing of uh, to verify it is a minor fall or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Okay. Ahora Claudia es Dorian. Dorian. Y nosotros Ramón. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I will have a look at it. Pablo. Hola. Es que se me, se me está yendo la señal del, del, del internet. Uh, you are right, you know, it does not work properly, and it makes a strange noise. This is complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify it is not, it is a minor fault or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Okay, hoy contestamos la, las preguntas. Mm -hmm. Play the question about the conversation, then write answers. The brushes on on a for nine. 
y recorrió el de la policía. Pero los catalíes negaron por completo cualquier irregularidad. Contra el mundial. Sí, y me Recuerdo que los alegatos, ¿sabes cuáles son los broches que eran broches? Geopolíticos broches. Que se hicieron con Tailandia, con Rusia, con Qatar, con Sarkozy, en Francia. ¿Qué tratos geopolíticos? Estas acusaciones se refieren a eso. ¿Qué? Yo pregunto, ¿qué? ¿Y el gas? Brushes son cepillos, pero en este caso serían las cerdas que tiene la máquina. Ah, entonces sería se recomienda revisar las cerdas por cada 15 días o dos veces al mes. ¿Qué es lo que significa extend the shot? Ah, entonces eh, hay que mantenerla apagada por más tiempo. Ajá. Es por eso que el mundial es importante. Hay que mantener la palabra. On one of the machines, I have a look at it. You are right to know if those no were properly. Um, it makes a stranger noise. It is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a, a lot of com a lot of components. I need to take <coughs> the metal casing of the berry. If it is a, min a minor fault, or what? And answer time, don't. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend to check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? They are. We will have to extend the shot. Did you answer the questions? Hello, class. Did you answer the no. questions? Not yet. Okay, no. go over that if you practice, all of you. Si todas practicaron ya, entonces contestamos las preguntas. Okay. Yes. <coughs> ¿Cuál? Eh, sem, sems o sims, ¿qué es? ¿Cuál parece ser el problema? Con la máquina. El problema de la máquina. Podría ser and it make a strange noise. It makes a strange noise, that's correct. En la número dos podría ser I am recommend check the brush on some for me to make sure that I know don't. Uh, what recommendation oh. does Dorian give? And then you go direct to the point. Okay, check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. Okay. 
Thank you, teacher. Okay. No me pesaron porque no falta. Porque tengo que terminar eso. Mami. Hola. Cambiamos de cadena. ¿Por qué? Se lleva el dito este. Mami, ¿cuál lápiz te gusta? Are you ready to get back, girls? Lista para regresar? Yes. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Thank you. Miss Carla, you're going to read the conversation. Yo, supongo. Hola, Lo. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Me, why me, you say. <laughs> Hello, Miss Celia. Okay, class, here we go. We're going to provide an answer to the two questions. Okay. Okay. But let's wait for the others to return. And here we go. Class, your answer for question number one. What seems to be the problem with the machine? What is the problem with the machine? It make a strange noise. It, it may... does not work properly and it makes it... a strange noise. Okay. It doesn't work properly. It doesn't work properly. properly. And it makes strange noise. And, okay. It makes it a strange noise. And it makes a strange noise. What about number two? What recommendation does Dorian give? Uh, he's in the bushes. He, okay. uh, Dorian, recommend, Dorian recommends to shake the brushes. Shake the brushes. Once One once a fortnight. Once a fortnight. Mm -hmm. Once a fortnight. With Dario, we have a discussion if we need to use, to check or not use two. Ah, uh, no, here, listen, I recommend here, Check the brushes once a fortnight. He's giving like an instruction, a command. Do you remember? Yo recommend revisar brushes. I recommend check the brushes. Ya, es como un imperativo. ¿Se recuerdan? Por eso es que um, acá, I recommend, yo recomiendo, check the brushes, blah, blah, blah. But here, when I write, though I am paraphrasing, Dorian recommends to check the brushes once a fortnight. But in this case, it could be as you say, but as it is written in here, it's okay because he is giving an instruction, yes, to check. I recommend check the brushes, revisar as infinitive, okay? That's it. Yeah. Okay. 
And now here you have, this is a troubleshoot for you. Expressions for describing issues. I'll have a look at it. It doesn't work properly. It makes a strange noise. I need to, a minor fault. I have to extend the shot. Uh, check the brushes once a fortnight. I need to speed things up, yeah? Here to extend the shot could be used in two situations, to close or to extend the period when, where the, when the machine is not going to be working, okay? It is going to be like unplugged, shut. And here, match the expressions or words with the phrases in the left. A small or an important problem, check it, a period of two weeks, do something faster, make the shutdown longer. Over here, you write A, B, C, D, E, okay? The one that you consider. Let's do it and we're going to double check. Are you ready? When you finish, you let me know, please, okay? Teacher, I'm done or teacher finished?
Okay, class, it is 9.40. So while you finish this activity, I'm going to call your names to take the second attendance, okay? Here we go. Atilio. Con problemas de conexión. Yeah, yeah. Entra y sale, entra y sale. Yeah, from the beginning, four of him. Brandon. Ah, present, hello, Brandon. present is, hello. Thank you, thank you, Brandon. Claudia. Present. Thank you, Miss. Concepción. Present. Thank you, Miss. Darío Antonio. Darío, are you here? Present teacher, yes, I am here. Okay, great. Stephanie? Present. Stephanie Carranza, thank you. Josué? Present teacher. Thank you, Josué. Juan Antonio? Here. Here teacher, present. Always. Luis Miguel absent today. Marianne Scarlett. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Marianne. Marina Jansi. Marina Jansi, are you available? Mirna Lisset. Present. Thank you, Miss Mirna Lisset. Nelly Lilibet. Present. Thank you. Nelson. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Norma is absent today. Pablo, here. Present. Sandra, Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. I appreciate you are here. Miss Wendy has been absent. Miss Carla Sofia is here. Present. And Miss Celia, Cristina, almost always here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, class, here we go. Okay, who said present? Atilio acaba de matar present. Pietro. Ah, Atilio. Okay. I know you know the connection. Just to say hello. Ah, he's back. Okay. No, the, well, no comments with the connectivity, internet connectivity in our country. So here we go. Everybody suffers the same. We suffer the same. So class, a small and important problem is letter A, B, C, D, or E. Letter A. E. 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 I'm sorry, E, yes, because it is e. a minor. I was I reading it is, e. Ah, yes, it, yeah, it is a, a letter E. Check it. C. C. Have a look at it. C. Uh, a period of two weeks. B. 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 C. D. 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 Uh, do something faster. B. 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 And then make the shutdown longer. A. 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 And that's it. Very well. Okay, so you have E, C, D, e, D, and E. Yeah. And now here, get in pairs and think, okay, I would like you to turn your microphones off. Okay, thank you. The instruction for exercise six. Per work, get in person, think of a problem that may occur with the machinery at your workplace. Use the conversation in exercise one as a model and use expressions from this part, okay? In other words, you're going to make it real, this conversation, you personalize it. If I say, thank you for coming, uh, Carla Sofia. No problem, someone reported that fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. 
this is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take okay, the case, if it is something related to the computer, or I need to take the, the cover, depending on the machine that you are thinking about, it can be a printer, yeah, a scanner, the ones that we use, yes? And then you paraphrase this, okay? I need to take the, the front part or the back part uh, to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand in that, if that is the case, we need to speed up, to speed things up. I recommend, and you give the recommendation, okay? Uh, once a fortnight, once a month, okay? Uh, every three months, it depends on the machine, or once a week to make sure they are not okay, down. And what happens if they are? And then you say, we will have to replace it. We will have to get a new one or to report it to the uh, supplier maybe, okay? You use your imagination. Did we get it? Expliqué cómo van a parafrasear la conversación. No. You see. Okay, only, okay, only here. So you, you say yes, but you don't say it, okay? So here we go. Now let's go to the breakout rooms and try to create a conversation, okay? Here we go. Okay, join your groups. Atilio goes to group number two. I hope you join Atilio with your connectivity. Okay, very well, let's begin. Let's get it started. Mándelo al grupo tres. Uh, okay, lo que sucede es que no se logra unir. Lo he enviado y... Uh -huh. Cuando ah, en la transferencia, ahí se le pierde el, el, el hilo, ok. Ajá, la conexión. Sí, no, bueno, no, no. Está bien. Ok, in case that he returns, I'm going to send you to your group, ok. <laughs> no problem, Tony. I will think about it. Stephanie Carranza, go to group number one. Marina Jansi, please go to group number five. Your partners are waiting for you, people. Bye. Puede, puede compartir pantalla. Esta vea. Sería. Vamos a robarme la pues. Sería. Thank you for coming. Este. Brandon. Ok, Brandon. Brandon. No. Uh -huh. No, 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 no escucha, Brando. Ok, Nelson, sería. Thank you for coming, uh, Nelson. Nelson. Uh -huh. No problem. Someone report a foul one, one, on one or your machine. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly. And it's made a strange notch. And. Vamos a decir que tipo de problema con la porque fax ya no hay gente. Vamos a intentar de que hablar sobre la fotocopiadora que se ha arruinado. Entonces, como lo como lo comenzamos, digamos que yo mando a llamar. Tomando en cuenta la conversación anterior, ¿verdad? 
tomándola como, como parte como de base. Ajá, sí, formar algo sí. nuevo. Ajá, y ahí hacen la, 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 la sustitución. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Porque ahí van a cambiar o... la máquina. Ah, no, toman como base la anterior, pero sustituyen la máquina. Y la ah. recomendación. ¿Sí? Ok, 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 uh -huh. ok. Entonces iniciamos como que fuera una llamada, ¿verdad? Al final de cuentas, casi de la misma manera. Ajá, no, porque ya ahí no hay llamada, sino que ha llegado la persona. Ya llegó el técnico. Ya llegó, ajá, correcto. Uh -huh. Es que Ramón es el técnico. Y yes, está uh -huh. eh, Por eso acá le dice, use las expresiones del, pero, y use the conversation in exercise one. Sí, como base, como modelo. Thank you for coming. Okay. Thank you for coming. Este, vamos a meter al, 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 al tercer miembro. Thank you for coming, Josué. Con Tarillo. Ah, ay, no. Para que la participe. Ah, ya. Ok. 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 You are right. You know, it doesn't not work properly and it's a mistake and it's small. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Podemos hablar de. ¿De qué podemos hablar? De escáner. Un escáner o fax. Frágil. Eh. Frágil, sí, escribe. Solo, ajá, frágil, solo con la E al final. Sí, yeah. the, only the pronunciation is different, fragile, but the fragile. spelling is the same. Spelling is the same. La, la escritura es igual. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Fragile. 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 Se oye como portugués. Fragile. <laughs> It's complex, man. Aquí sería yes. 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 So may, maybe you will need. Ah, y Marian just for him machine. Have a lot of components. How, uh, um, how many sensors podría ser en lugar de load components? Has, has, has many sensors. Has many sensors. Many. Sí, sensors. I need to. Eso está bien, es como tomar el. Como desarmarla, ¿verdad? No. Esa fue la máquina. I need a... Many, me... Metal casing off. Es el, Sería... el case de la envoltura, pues, la cubierta de metal casing como el plastic case. Ya entendí de plastic casing. <ríe> ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo explicaríamos nosotros? Vidrio. I need to take the plastic case. Uh -huh. I need to take the plastic case. O oh, bueno, en el primer, bueno, cuando sale en línea en la impresora, lo primero es hacerle una limpieza de general sale ahí. Tal vez sería otra instrucción, ¿verdad? I need to... Uh, uh, limpieza de cabezales, algo así le llamo. I need to, I need to, to make a deep cleaning. Una limpieza profunda. Deep cleaning. Deep cleaning, ¿verdad? Deep, ajá. D I -E need deep to... D Make a deep cleaning. I need to make a deep, a deep cleaning. cleaning. <coughs> mm. 
quiero ver cómo lo podemos poner. Ahorita puede pegar el texto del, del, del PDF, el que, nos, el que tenemos en el, en el módulo. Y, y Brandon no, ya no se conectó. I don't know. Brandon, yes. here. Ahí está, Brandon. Yes, yes, yes. I okay. need you to practice, Brandon. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Eh, mi Ramon. Yeah. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. So we report a faculty one on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, is those not work properly, and it makes a strange noise. This is complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine have a lot of components. I need to take the metal closing off to verify is it's a mirror packet or what. I understand. Is that it the case? We need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once or for night to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Okay, it's only listen and Uh, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. Uh, you're right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange, strange noise. Strange This is a complex noise. machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off. Thank verify, you. remember, verify here. I told you there is a mistake, not very. In this case, doesn't apply. Verify if it is a minor fault, minor fault or what? Mm, I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? Mm, we will have to extend the shot. Okay, so uh, with the other conversation, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> with the one that you created. Okay, you're going to share with the class. <laughs> I, I, you are so excited for sharing with the class. Okay, here we go. Thank you, class. Let's return then to the main session room. Excellent, amazing. I have here the groups for sharing the conversation that you created. Brandon says, yes, teacher, me, me. I want to participate with the new conversation. Okay. I'm silly to <laughs> listen to this in my... Okay, let's wait for the other partners to return. Mm, they are still working. Class, do we have any group that is ready to share the conversation that you created? Okay, nobody says. You didn't have enough time. 
because you have to create the conversation and it is time to say goodbye, okay? So class, tomorrow we're going to have as a feedback this conversation and the phrases, okay? Because it's kind of late for you. And I'm going to ask Miss Mirna Lisset to stay with me uh, for 10 minutes after the class. In class, you need to continue working in the platform if you, in the case that you are owing me something, but in the case, Miss Celia Cristina, she's over 100%. I updated uh, her average yesterday and also for Miss Carla Sofia, yeah, and other people. I think that Pablo also, yeah, uh, the, some of you did it already. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. And for the rest, if you have something in order to complete work in the platform right now, remember at midnight is the, the time that you need to have everything done. So. Thank you for joining to the class, for practicing a lot. And I'm going to stay with Mirna Lisette. Have a good night for the rest of the class. Happy sleep. See you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Thank you. See you all night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, Brandon. Bye. <laughs> Saved by the time. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Brandon. Good night, Nelly, Marina. Okay, have a good night. Marina Yancy, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Brandon. Okay, here we go, miss. Okay, we're going to practice. Ah, first, do you have any, any, I don't know if Marina Yancy is here, but anyways, here we go. Miss, do you have any structure where that is unclear? ¿Tiene alguna estructura que no está muy clara de las que hemos practicado en esta unidad 2 o en la 1? Eh, en la 2, quizás la clase del viernes. Uh -huh. eh, estaba así como un poquito de todo y estaba así como que... Estaba un poquito indispuesta. Uh -huh, entonces la, la clase del viernes sí siento que... You were not so able to. Ok, so... Porque sube medio... Poquito hablaba y me daba una tos. Mm -hmm. About giving instructions, yeah. Um, there is and there are, for singular and plural, esa. There is and there are, esa fue, o about this one? Mm -hmm. Giving instructions. No, because no. this is, this, you were working with this, right? It is about there is and there are. Yes? See? Yes. Okay, yes. here we use there is and there are in order to state, to express that something exists. Utilizamos there is and there are para expresar que algo existe, yeah? Mm -hmm. We use there is for singular nouns. Utilizamos there is para los nombres en singular and there are for plural y there are para los plurales. Agregamos not after to be, después del verbo to be, le agregamos not para convertirla en negativa. Okay, here we have some examples. There is one office in San Salvador. There is not a store in the city. In the first example is affirmative. In the second one, it is negative. Is, is mm -hmm. the verb to be. Uh -huh. That's why we add not. But here we have, okay, there are three distribution centers in Ilopango. There are not many places to have meetings. Affirmative and negative in plural. Y esta era la oración que les estaba dando problemas a algunos compañeros, ¿verdad? En la plataforma. So there are three distribution. Singular, there is. I say, for example, okay, here. I have one pen in my hand. I say there is a pen in my hand. There are two pens in my hand because it is plural. Singular one, plural two. There is, there, there is, are. Yeah. Excellent, very well. And now here we have these sentences. I don't know if you were able to find the mistakes. No, no sé si, eh, ¿Identificó los errores acá? 
No le he hecho. Pensa, ok, pensa so here. Eso. Ok, uh -huh. let's see. There is two branches in El Salvador. ¿Dónde estaría el error? Si sabemos que there is, es para singular, there are, is for there plural. Are, uh -huh. el is oh, for are. Excellent, very well. There are, are uh -huh. two branches. Two branches. In El Salvador. In El Salvador. Esa sería la oración correcta. Pero si nos vamos así como se los piden en la plataforma, read the sentences and find the, mis find the mistake and correct it. Entonces sería, de acuerdo a cómo está en la plataforma, ok, um, is, ¿verdad? Ese sería el error. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería el correcto? De acuerdo a la plataforma, solo escribir are, ¿sí? Pero se confundieron los compañeros porque como todas las otras oraciones tenían la misma indicación, pero tenían que reescribir la oración. Pero uh -huh. en este caso, en la número 3 creo que era, del ejercicio 6, tenían que escribir solamente eh, uh -huh. la palabra correcta por la incorrecta. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, now, in number 2, there are one facilities available. Where is there, the is, there is one One. Ajá. Fíjese que acá, si usted dice there is one facilities, tenemos que cambiar esto. Facility. Available. ¿Por qué? Porque decimos que hay una instalación disponible. Si escribimos there is one. Pero, uh -huh. pero si decimos, eh, si dejamos facilities tal cual como está, entonces sería... There are facilities available. Ok, hay instalaciones disponibles, ¿sí? Solamente quitamos one. Ok, correcto, muy bien. Now, number three. There is a new offices. There, there are. are. Ok, there are a um, new no, no puede decirme A ah, porque A ah, es para singular. Sería ah. there ah. are new offices. offices. Y eliminamos A porque eso es para singular. No podemos decir ah. there, there are a new offices. Hay unas nuevas oficinas. No, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No sé por, porque A significa un, una. Uh -huh. there, are, there are not There not are materials to work. There How are not. There are not. There are not. Material to work. Excellent. Materials to work. Very well done. And then we have, there is not three boxes in the lobby. There are not. Ok, great. There are not three, three boxes, boxes in, in the, the lobby. lobby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces recuerde que en la plataforma cuando le dice there are three distribution uh, centers in Ilopango, ahí en esa solamente tiene que escribir las, ¿verdad? Oh, no. Ok, así uh, creo que iba la cosa. Pero ahí está en el chat, ¿ok? And here we have this conversation. We're going to read it. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few, hay algunas, hay unas cuantas. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana. These days, there isn't one. Okay, now you are Tom and I am Orson. Let's begin reading. My name is Tom. 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, we're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting, or painting, ¿cómo se lo dice? The painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet, okay? Now, based on this information, this, uh, this conversation we have been reading, means we're going to answer this, okay? There are three offices in San Salvador. Which is the missing word? Is or are? Are. Okay, are. There are because it is plural. Number two, there is or are one story in Soyapango? There is. Okay, great. There is. And here, number three, there are not any offices in this region yet. They are. There aren't. There are. There are not any offices in this region yet. Yeah? Now is it clear? Yes? Clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well. So remember when you work in the platform, okay? And it gives you a mistake, it is because you have to, okay? Mm -hmm. Only that part. Only read. Read the sentences, find the mistake and correct it. Solo el error va a corregir. Okay, but the others, you work, you write them completely, okay? Like we did over here. Okay, Miss, any other doubt that you might have? Alguna otra duda? No. Okay. Only this, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, with, ah, uh, uh, here, let's remember that in questions, we switch the order of the phrase. Para preguntas, invertimos el orden. Y escribimos, is there a meeting room in your company? Is there a treatment plant in your workplace? Are there enough representatives? Are there any restrooms in your work? Lo invertimos, no decimos, there, uh, is. there is, no, we say, is there, is and there. for plural, are there, yes? And question mark at the end, okay? That is the only thing. And we were working with this, write questions that correspond to the answer. For example, is there a conference room in your company? Yes, there is one. It is next to the manager's office. ¿Y eso sí lo completó o no? No lo logró completar. Mm, no, no lo logré completar. Okay, let's see. If we have training rules, first we have to build the question. Primero tenemos que construir la pregunta considerando las respuestas y... Esta frase en paréntesis. No, there are not any. We have no training rooms. So, what do we have to say? Are, are uh -huh. there? Excellent. Are there any? Uh, any uh, training room. Excellent. Any training rooms? Um, okay. Are there any training rooms? No, there are not any. We have no training rooms. Now, on-site clinic. No, there is not one. So the question should be? Is there? Excellent. Is there? Is there one? One. 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 On clinic. On-site mm -hmm. clinic. No, there is not one, okay? Uh, yes, there are five restrooms inside the buildings, restrooms. Uh, are there? Are there? Are there five? Restrooms? Restroom? In, inside the building. the building. Inside the building, okay? And question mark, yeah? 
Yes, there are five. Okay. Yes, there are five restrooms inside the building. And that's it. Okay. Okay, Miss. Thank you so very much for your time and continue working in the platform. Okay. Yes. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.